Last night at 11 o'clock, we headed to Cape Cod where shark sightings have been on the rise in part because of the growing seal population. And tonight we are going back to see who's watching them underwater. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Francis and photojournalist Eric Budney learned about how you can stay safe in the water and even track great, right, great whites right from your smartphone. Sharks, great whites, are rarely seen in the waters of Long Island Sound. You might remember back in May of 2019, O-Search actually tracked this 10-foot great white named Cabot into Connecticut waters. The group said it was the first time it's ever been able to track a white shark in the Long Island Sound. But if you've been to Cape Cod, the signs warning of these predators are posted at almost every beach from Bourne to Provincetown. And the risks are real. NOAA reports five people have been attacked since 2012. One of those attacks was deadly. A man died in Wellfleet in 2018. Scientists attribute the Cape's healthy population of seals dinner for these predators as the reason sharks are coming closer to the shallow waters of sandbars in the shoreline. Some people who live in the area, like Kelly Zimmerman, are concerned. You said that you won't go swimming. Uh, no, I don't. You come to the Cape and you want to go for a swim, so the experts say you still can, but they recommend going in only waist deep. Just check for the flags. You heard that right. Swim recommendations are waist deep water, but experts say keep things in perspective. With spotter planes and research boats available, the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy works very closely with the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries as well as beach managers with the National Seashore and towns like Chatham Parks and Rec Director Daniel Tobin to help keep you safe on the shore. I mean, when seals are sighted in a beach area, we close that beach area for at least 30 minutes until the, sh uh, the uh, seals have cleared that for that period of time and then uh, we'll reopen it to, s to swimmers and those kind of things. If we do s have a report of a shark in the vicinity, we'll close for at least an hour uh, based on the situation and if th nothing's been detected for over an hour, we will uh, reopen. There is also an app that tracks shark sightings. It's called Sharktivity. You can see people on the app, you know, like you see people using it in real time as well. Is that something that, was that the goal? Yeah, so that Sharktivity app, you know, that when it was created, it was to help further communicate the science to the public. You know, we joked at the time that everything has an app now, so why not have this Shark app that can really relay all this information to the public? And we have seen it be an incredible tool for people to actually be looking and, you know, taking in that information. And take a look at this. You can see where tagged sharks are pinging off marked buoys. Similar technology to what O-Search used to track the Great White in Long Island Sound two years ago. Here, you see Finn of Moe was detected. Then you can see a photo of the shark. Or if someone reports a shark sighting like this 10-foot shark, estimated to be about three-quarters of a mile offshore, you'll get an alert right to your phone. It gives everybody the same information um, as quickly as we can so that uh, they know what precautions to take and what to be aware of. I think uh, you can really enjoy a good day at the beach. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anything to be uh, overly afraid of in any way. Uh, it's just, you know, use the same around the water precautions that you would use at any beach, um, whether it be a lake or, or the ocean or whatnot. Including the Long Island Sound. Again, while great white sharks rarely make their way into the sound, with Sharktivity, you can get an alert for a tagged white shark if it happens to make its way off the coast of Connecticut or anywhere within the Northwest Atlantic region. Coming up on Eyewitness News this Friday, if you're fascinated with sharks, we're taking you to a place where you can feed your obsession or ease your fears. Tune in for this one tank trip. In Chatham, Massachusetts, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.